First stop on our journey is asset sharing. We'll start here from the assets core service in the Experience Cloud. The way that I actually share this with the Creative Cloud is simply using the Share to Creative Cloud option. There is an option to actually just select the users in the Creative Cloud that I want to actually share this folder with. So now as the designer, if I wanted to populate something else directly into that, all I would have to do, go to File, Save As, choose that same folder that we just looked at, and when I hit Save, this asset gets saved not only to my local computer, but also uploaded into the cloud where it can be accessed by Adobe Campaign. The next step is the predefined filters. We will see how it's easier day to day life. And for example, here I want to target all the people who have at least one transaction in the last 30 days with an amount greater than 15 pounds. And what I can do is just with that button, save that query uh, into a predefined filter. And my predefined filter is now available on my left panel, predefined filter. We will build a form in order to fill that 30 days and 15, uh, 15 pounds. If I go to the preview, I have a form. So we'll just do a test, 30 days, and the amount is 15, 3,146 people. So this is much simpler and more secure than building individual queries each time you want to, to use it. And it's a great way to, re to, uh, to reduce the time uh, when you want to build targets for campaign. Next stop, we're going to talk about packages. So a package in Adobe Campaign is really just a set of configuration that has been exported from one environment. If we actually need to export this welcome campaign that Eric was looking at, um, the easiest way to do that is actually just to click on this button right here and say export in a package, export now. And Adobe Campaign is going to go ahead and actually generate the XML definition of that package for us. But it not only handles just that campaign, it handles all of the children elements as well. So all of the workflows and deliveries that belong to that campaign. As you can see, this campaign still has its default auto-generated internal name of OP398. There's a simple way to manage that. And all we need to do is go to Admin, Platform, Options. And you see we have this option named XTK Instance Prefix. And whatever value I put in this option will be automatically prepended to the auto-generated internal names that I now create. Now, switching gears into something slightly more technical here, here we have an XML package that I've already generated that contains changes to a recipient schema. I can actually control and, uh, what happens and prevent it from actually automatically updating by adding this attribute of no DB structure update equals True. And so now what will happen when I insert this package is the XML definition will be loaded, but the changes will not be applied to the underlying database structure at that moment. We can also build this workflow, which uses those APIs to run on a recurring basis and export packages. So now, next stop on our journey is contextual content. So the first thing that we do is we go into Adobe Target and we need to create offers. Now the way this works in Adobe Target is we need one offer for each unique image we want to show as well as one offer for each unique URL that we'll drive somebody to. Now the next thing that we're going to do is build audiences in Adobe Target. And we need one audience for each unique experience that we're driving. So again with males and females we'll need two different audiences here. Now the last thing we need to do in Adobe Target is create an experience targeting activity. Within each audience, we then have two different locations. And this is the image that we want to replace on the right. And we want to replace that with a stat from a static image to a contextual image that's served at the time somebody opens the email. So typology rules. So everybody uses typology rules, so you know exactly how it works. Why we want to use SMS? Because it's a channel which gives you the capability to talk to the people in real time. And here is the message we want to send. OK, so it's. Happy birthday, Mr. Uh, Mr. Eric, for my name. And I have a rule called shorter and SMS URL. I open it, I add it into my default typology. But what is interesting, it's not just add that, it's also manage you know, the execution order. And I'm here into the detail of that rule, and I have here the execution order. So I want to add that in position 15, for example. So I change my personalization. Here is the bit.ly account which does the job to reduce my URL. 